More stellar pitching from the Flames baseball team here at Liberty Baseball Stadium as Liberty wraps up an 11-game homestand with a 5-1 to win over the James Madison Dukes on Tuesday afternoon. And again, it was the pitching for the Flames that came through big, holding the Dukes to just a run on three hits. James Madison entering the ball game, fourth highest team batting average in the country, 34 home runs, silenced by the quartet of Xander Klaus, Garrett Price, Cody Gamble, and Jack DeGroat. Xander Klaus started the game, four scoreless innings. Price wound up getting the win with two innings out of the bullpen. And then Jack DeGroote, an inning and two-thirds scoreless with four strikeouts. The Flames offense, five runs on ten hits. They get it done today as well. But after the ball game, it was all about the Flames pitching. We caught up with Xander Klaus and Jack DeGroote. I think that was the big thing today was getting ahead of hitters, uh, really th throwing my off speed through the zone, uh, trying to move the fastball inside and out kind of mix it up and, like I said before, let my defense work, let them make plays for me, and, you know, the results speak for themselves. Xander, I think he was on like a 40 pitch count or something today, so to have him come out and throw four scoreless like that, giving up one hit, that was awesome. That really set the tone for us. And then, you know, here comes Price, aside from one pitch, doing what he usually does, coming out and getting the job done and then gamble. And then, I mean, I had an easy job coming out with the four-run lead, just had to get a couple outs there. So, I mean, it was, it was a good team win today. You know, those guys have been uh, – They've been tremendous, and to, to only walk one, you know, we, we got, I was joking around with Nick on the radio, I'm, I'm going to smack Jack for walking that last one. I wanted, I really wanted to walk nobody because that's, you know, that's, that's how you win games. And so, you know, those guys attacked, and there were some loud outs to their credit. They can swing the bat, but, you know, I thought we really did a good job of kind of figuring them out. Coach Gaines was awesome. You know, we pitched in effectively and used both sides of the plate, and that's what you have to do against a team like that. And, you know, all three of those guys were able to use both sides when they came in there, and uh, we got out of there in pretty good shape. Offensively in this one, DJ Artis, the Big South Player of the Week, had a couple of more hits. Also, Will Shepard drove in a run with a double as Liberty beats JMU. Again, 5-1 to one the final score. Flames now 12-7 and seven overall. They'll head on the road for their next four games. Liberty will visit Charleston Southern for a three-game Big South series this weekend. Game one Friday night at 6 o'clock. It'll be Flames right-hander Caleb Evans on the mound once again in the Friday game. In Lynchburg, for the Liberty Flames Sports Network, I'm Nick Pierce.